Hello everybody and happy Wednesday. I am meteorologist Liam Kenny, bringing you yet another tropical update considering the tropics continue to stay so active at this period of time. We currently have three systems right now in the Atlantic and one more potentially to come throughout the next two to three days. Now before we, start to, before we get started on this video, I want to ask you a question. Whenever I say or whenever I or any meteorologist say the words hurricane, tropical storm, tropical cyclone, any type of tropical system, what are the areas that you think of most of the time? For me personally, I think of the Gulf of Mexico, Caribbean, you know, the area around Florida, because that's where we typically see the most action. Another area that we never think about or hear when it comes to tropical systems is the Northeast and portions of New England. And thanks to our brand new hurricane that just formed today, Hurricane Henri, the Northeast could potentially be in for a, a borderline Category 1 tropical system making landfall sometime Saturday night into Monday morning. Here's a look at the tropics right now. I mean, it is so, so active. You've got, I mean, you, I mean, you've got Fred right here currently impacting the Mid-Atlantic, Northeast, and New England areas. Here's Hurricane Andre that has been a tropical storm over the last several days, but became a hurricane today at about 9 a.m. this morning. Here's Hurricane Grace about to make its first landfall on the eastern, on the eastern Yucatan Peninsula. It will eventually head west and then make its second landfall on the eastern coast of Mexico. And we have a brand new area of possible development. It is definitely possible that, th that this brand new wave that is about to come off the western coast of Africa could potentially be our next name storm. It is not out of the question at all for us to have four name systems. One, two, three, and four. That would be record breaking, ladies and gentlemen. Let me just tell you that right now. I've never seen anything like this in my life, okay? Just to put that into words for you, I've never seen the tropics so active with so many systems at once. Let's go ahead and first talk about our first system, which is Hurricane Henri. Once again, this was a tropical, this, this, uh, this has been a tropical storm for the last several days. However, because it is over the very warm ocean waters of the North Atlantic, it has gained enough strength to become a Category 1 hurricane with maximum sustained winds of 75 miles an hour. Thankfully, the pressure is now just under 1,000 millibars at 998 and is moving towards the west at 9 miles an hour. Now, one of the most important things with this system is going to be what is steering it. And right now, just to the east of the system, we have a very strong area of high pressure. And you all know, areas of high pressure rotate clockwise, while areas of low pressure rotate counterclockwise. So since it is on the southern part of this area of high pressure, it is pushing it westward closer and closer to the United States mainland. As soon as it can get on this western side that is uh, blowing northward, that's going to make it right up along the whole entire eastern coast, thus pushing it closer to New England, the Northeast, potentially maybe even the Southeast sometime, you know, when the area of high pressure is just getting closer to the eastern coast. So at this point in time, the areas that need to be most concerned are the states of Pennsylvania, New York, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, Connecticut, Vermont, Maine, maybe even New Hampshire. Okay, all these states are going to be in play as Henri continues to push closer and closer to, the, to, uh, to portions of New England. And then as soon as Henri can get on that northern side of the area of high pressure, then it'll finally take a turn eastward and head, and, and head away from the United States. But until then, it is going to be a gruesome 36 to 48 hours, especially for people right along the coastlines of New Jersey, Long Island, and then the coastlines of Connecticut, Rhode Island, and even Massachusetts. Let me show you one more time. Here we, are, here we are right now, area of high pressure pushing it westward, closer and closer to the eastern coast. As soon as you can get on that western side, that's going to be pushing it northward, pushing it right off the coastline of New England. And then as soon as you can get on that eastern side, pushing it back eastward, then it'll finally head away from the U.S. mainland and head into the eastern Atlantic. But, I mean, it's going to be a gruesome 36 to 40 hours for so many people. I mean, that area is so very... Have you populated? So here's the latest uh, National Hurricane Center forecast. I mean, they have this system getting up to 90 miles an hour. We are 10 miles an hour shy of a 100 miles an hour Category 1 hurricane. I know that doesn't seem like much considering, you know, we have a lot more categories. But let me tell you, you, do de you definitely do not want to be in the middle of a, of a, of a uh, 100 mile per hour Category 1 hurricane. And by the look of the track, it's going to be maintaining that strength all the way until about Sunday morning. And then it'll finally lose some of its strength right before it makes landfall somewhere 
along the coastline of Rhode Island, maybe Massachusetts, as a 70 mile per hour tropical storm. Remember, 75 is Category 1 hurricane. So we are borderline Category 1 hurricane making landfall sometime Monday afternoon on the coastline of either Connecticut, Rhode Island, or Massachusetts. Absolutely incredible that this strong wind system could be could, uh, could be coming on land this early in the season. We're not even into we're not even into September yet, guys. Okay, we're in the middle of August, and we and we, and we already have our first land falling hurricane for New England. That is absolutely incredible. Here's your chance of seeing tropical storm force winds all the way to until August 18th. Okay, look at this. Obviously. The closer to the center of circulation you are, the better chance you have of seeing the strongest winds. I mean, we could easily be seeing these winds all the way up into Connecticut. Okay, obviously the best chance is going to be somewhere right along here, just off the coastlines of the northeast. But I mean, we could easily be seeing wind gusts upwards of 50 to 60 miles an hour. Absolutely incredible. And as those uh, very strong waves are being pushed on shore, we could easily be seeing waves over 16 to 20 feet. Let me tell you, I've been on a boat several, several times, especially with my grandfather. Shout out to him. He's one of the best captains I know. And let me tell you, I've been out in three to five foot waves, and I get scared for my life. Okay, let me tell you, you, do, you definitely do not want to be out in waves that's over 10 feet. We're now looking at waves over 20 feet. Right along that center circulation, potentially over 25 feet in that orange area, guys. That is absolutely incredible for waves to get almost over 25 feet. Wow, that is absolutely incredible. Here's some of the impacts from Hurricane Henry. Let's we'll start off in a big city, Boston, Massachusetts. Thankfully, I think we will see the storm go down to tropical storm strength as we head into Sunday and then eventually into Monday. We could definitely be seeing some moderate times for very heavy rainfall. We can, I don't think we'll be seeing any storm surge considering Boston is way along, you know, it's way inland. However, a lot more coastal areas like Wakefield, Rhode Island, and then a lot more coastal areas. In Connecticut, Rhode Island, and Massachusetts can definitely seeing, be seeing some storm surge considering we're depending on, on how strong the onshore pushes. And last but not least, depending on how strong the system is by the time it comes on land, uh, depending on where you live, you can definitely see some wind gusts upwards of 50, maybe 60, maybe even 70 miles an hour at times. Here's Providence, Rhode Island. Thankfully, once again, I think it'll be a tropical storm by the time it comes on land and then eventually makes landfall. We can definitely be seeing... A, uh, a lot of severe times of very heavy rainfall. Thankfully, I don't think we'll see any storm surge considering Providence is one of the most inland areas in the state over at Island. And last but not least, depending on how strong this, the system is, once again, will determine how strong your wind gusts are. Here's another place as we go into Hartford, Connecticut. Once again, trouble storm strength by the time it makes landfall. Here we go. Definitely some very heavy rain, potentially severe weather at times as those outer bands are coming on shore. I don't think we'll see any storm surge, thankfully. And last but not least, depending on how strong the system, uh, depending on how, on how strong the system is when it comes on shore, will determine how strong your wind damage is. I think so. I think that is basically all I have for Hurricane Henri. This system is going to be extremely, extremely important to watch. I will have it all on my YouTube channel over the next several days. And uh, depending on what time the system makes landfall on, I will probably be doing a live land falling um, live stream on my YouTube channel at Liam's Weather. But, uh, let's, let's change the subject and talk now about Hurricane Grace. This system will probably be making landfall sooner than Hurricane Andrew will, considering there is the eastern Yucatan Peninsula, so this system is getting extremely, extremely close to that Yucatan Peninsula. Maximum sustained winds right now of 80 miles an hour, a low minimum pressure of 993 millibars and is moving west northwest at about 16 miles an hour, so a much a much faster moving system than Hurricane Henri. Here is the latest Hurricane Center track. As you can see, we're I mean they're I mean they're saying that this system could get even stronger as we head into tomorrow afternoon, gaining a little bit more strength, becoming an 85 mile an hour Category One hurricane. Right before it makes landfall, we'll probably lose a little bit of its strength going back down to tropical storm strength as we head into Thursday afternoon, regaining strength in the Western Gulf, becoming a Category 1 hurricane again with, with winds around 80 miles an hour. And the last one, least, losing a lot of its strength and becoming a tropical depression as we head into Saturday afternoon with winds around 30 to 35 miles an hour. This, this system is going to be an absolute soaker, especially... For the eastern portions of Mexico, we're, we're, I mean, we're potentially looking at up to a foot of rain just to the east of Mexico City. 
That is absolutely incredible. Once again, we are not even in September, ladies and gentlemen. We are in the middle of August, and we are seeing so many named systems. A hurricane making landfall in the Yucatan Peninsula, a hurricane making landfall in the New England areas, and we just had Fred make landfall on the panhandle of Florida. That is absolutely incredible. Three landfalling systems within potentially two to three weeks. That is absolutely unthinkable in my mind, honestly. And because the system is, is uh, forecast to become a hurricane at landfall, we do have those hurricane warnings up just to the south of Cancun, right along that area where they think the winds are going to be strongest at times. Tropical storm warnings right along that, the, uh, right along that northern part and just to the south also of that hurricane warning. And also on the Cayman Islands, you are also under a tropical storm warning. Even though the center now is to your west, we're still seeing impacts because of how big and how wide the system is. All right, so that is basically it for this video. I think I actually have one more graphic. Here it is, yeah. I forgot to change that. So look, here are three systems. Here's Henri, here is Grace, and then you just saw Fred. I mean, look, I mean, watch this area of low pressure so closely. Look how, look how uh, low the, the pressure gets. Coming so close to New England. That is absolutely insane, okay? I'm gonna play this back, just so that way you all can watch it again, particularly Watch Henri. It goes from a thousand down to under a thousand. Here's 997, 998, 995, 996, 994, 985, 980. 980 is about category two. And then be, and then coming so close to, do, to the New England coastline. Wow. That is absolutely incredible. I'm gonna play it one more time, and this time watch Hurricane Grace. There's the landfall. Uh, losing some of its strength, now regaining some of its strength, and making the second landfall on the eastern coast of Mexico. That is absolutely incredible. And don't forget about Tropical Depression Fred. It's still impacting the New England areas. So in New England, you're going to be affected by Fred right now, and then come three to five more days ahead of time, then you're going to be getting our brand new friend, Hurricane Henri. That is absolutely incredible in my mind. Just absolutely incredible so that is everything i have for you guys thank you all so much for trusting me to bring you up to date on fred on your grace and potentially the brand new one that is just about to come off the western coast of africa um you know please be sure that you are subscribed to my youtube channel you smash that notification bell and also be sure to click that like button if you're enjoying the content and last but not least for all updates and news be sure to visit my website at liamsweather.org all right, so that is basically it for today. Thank you all so much for watching, and have a great rest of your Wednesday.